Moms and dads with kids in Guilford County Schools, you'll want to hear this. The district is making some changes to school lunches. GCS is working to minimize debt from charged meals by helping families out. WFNY News News Daniel Cruz spoke to the district about the initiative and how it works. Yeah, throughout the pandemic, school meals were free for everyone, and now those federal nutrition vouchers ran out. Students once again have to pay for their school lunches. Now, during last night's school board meeting, Guilford County school leaders moved forward with reinstating an alternative meal plan. Essentially, if students charge $19.25 or more in meal debt, they will receive a cheaper meal option. Nutrition is still a priority, and we want it to look like a full tray of food, which it will be. Uh, and and something that they will like and we're trying to put out as many options as possible for them between uh, fresh fruits and vegetables as well as things that we've prepared. Right now more than 5700 Guilford County students have meal debt totaling more than $111,000. Statewide meal debt surpasses 1.3 million. The goal of the alternative meal plan is not to eliminate the debt. Instead, the change will allow how quickly the debt adds up to slow down. They're still getting their nutrition that they need. They're still getting the vitamins, the fresh fruits and vegetables. It's just an effort to slow down uh, the increase in debt that we have right now. Families can still have their debt reduced if they qualify for free and reduced lunch. That form is available online at lunchapplication.com or through your child's school. If parents don't pay off the debt by the end of the school year, the district will have to use local funds to pay it off.